A little known tuning house straps a Corvette ZR1 V8 to a classic Mustang body. We got the price of the Alfa Romeo 4C sports car, but is it going to be delayed again? Also Lamborghini Cabrera at the Nürburgring, Bentley wants in on the four-door coupe game. And Mercedes is chicken. And Need for Speed movie, what? What's up everybody, I'm Derek D, this is Fast Lane Daily's 1700th episode. Woo! Boom! Woo! 17 hunch. Yep. Seems like only yesterday was 1699. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Bentley will be introducing a new model to rival the new BMW M6 Grand Coupe or Coupe, as some say, and the Mercedes CLS AMG. Yes, that means it will be a four-door coupe. A four-door coupe off, if you will, Tom. Right on. Looking to launch in 2018, the new model will ride on the next generation Porsche Panamera chassis and will cost about 120,000 euros. That's 162,000 American dollars. Obviously, 2018 is still a ways off. So before then, Bentley will launch its SUV with a 12-cylinder engine making 650 horses and likely a very different look than the XP, uh, EXP 9F concept. Yes, that's the SUV that you go practice falconry in as everyone does naturally. You know, everyone goes falconing, right? Lamborghini knows it can offer special edition Gallardos for only so long before it has to replace its decade old model. We're on to you, Lambo. But the other day we were able to see the new Cabrera sports car testing in the open at the Nürburgring. In these spy shots from Auto Guide, we see the model wearing just a bit of camo and looking damn fierce, right Max? Yep. Sure. Power is expected to come from a souped up Gallardo's 5.2 liter V10 making 600 ponies. Connected to a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Weight will be cut down to a super light 2,865 pounds. So to put it plainly, it will absolutely haul ass AK. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mercedes has managed to make a chicken look like one of the coolest animals on the planet. They have this new commercial demonstrating stability control by showing how chickens can keep their head and neck stable no matter how or where their body is moving. As you see the people with the white gloves like going like this and stuff. The choreography is pretty great and the music is just perfect. My question is, where are these chickens now? Famous in the chicken world or in a plate of Chipotle chicken taco salad? Oh, oh come on. No. Hey, I'm just saying. I don't know. You guys want to watch that whole thing? Links in the, uh, what? Link is in the description. What happened to you there? Alfa Romeo just announced some good news and bad news. The good news is that the new 4C sports car will be priced at a somewhat reasonable 54 grand. It's cool, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The bad news is that Alfa has again delayed its U.S. return. <laughs> to the second quarter of 2014. I mean, come on. Unreal. I know. As we know, the new model weighs under 2,000 pounds. It's powered by a turbo four-cylinder making 240 horses, has 258 pound-feet of twist, and uh, super hot models like to stand next to it when it's still. Ah, I miss her. <laughs> she, was, she was nice. Zero 60 gets dropped in 4.5 seconds, and top speed will be around, what do you think, Erica? 160, maybe. Uh, you're exactly correct, 160 miles per hour. Good job. Modern technology in a classic car body. Some call it Resto mod. I just call it an awesome strategy. That's the approach tuner Equus used with their latest project, the Base 770, or Bass 770. I'm gonna go Base 770. In short, it's a 1960 style Ford Mustang fastback body powered by a modern supercharged Corvette ZR1 V8. Follow? You got some tasteful bodywork on the outside and cabin upgrades on the inside, but the classic shape is there. The new heart makes 640 horses and 604 pound-feet of torque. That means 0 to 60, 3.4 se seconds. Top speed, 200 miles per hour. Price tag, 250 grand, ugh. That will most likely torpedo any hopes you ever had of buying this model. But let's talk about this video for a second. Cop pulls them over, cop arrests the dude, cop takes the base 770 with the girl in it to the airport, then she takes the car back. Riveting stuff. Weird, yeah. Great. Yeah. So clever. Yeah. Speaking of riveting stuff, have you guys seen the Need for Speed movie trailer yet? I have. Yeah. 
It's starring Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, well, it's interesting. Not sure what the story is or what it's about exactly. There isn't really specific characters in the video game, but there's your standard explosions, right? You got some fast cars and a guy running from something, and that something just seems to be like more fast cars. So that brings us to our FLD question of the day, which is, why did they make this movie? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, have, your, have some fun. Watch the trailer, links in the description, and let us know your thoughts. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and let us know, right, AK? Mm -hmm. All right, should be, uh, should be some fun comments that we'll see. That will do it for Fast Lane Daily today on this Thirsty Thursday. I'm Derek D. 1,700 episodes. Awesome. FastLaneDaily.com and Fast Lane Daily social media all day long. A little hiccup there. It's all good. 1,700. Amazing. Good number. I remember one like it was yesterday. And Max is probably putting that right there right now, and I just jinxed myself. <laughs>